Hey, I'm Megan Kolb and here with me is Mike Garrity and this week is Daytona Speed Weeks. A lot of action going on and off track, but let's talk about history being made at the Daytona 500. Danica Patrick on the pole. How about that, Mike? Yeah, I mean, the first time a woman's ever been on the pole for the cup race and she did it at Daytona. It's amazing. We've also got Milka Duno on the outside pole for the arc race, Jennifer Jo Cobb in the truck race, and Johanna Long in the nationwide race. And we actually sat down with Johanna Long. We had our very own Tiff Daniels, who's a really good short track driver and a female driver, talk to her about her journey to nationwide and what her season's been like. And let's not forget, Johanna's team owner is also a female, Mary Louise. Check it out. Joanna, describe how you got into racing in the first place. You're in a family of all girls and the youngest, so I'm sure it was an interesting story. Very interesting. You know, I watched my dad race when I was a young girl, and at five years old, I wanted to race. All I wanted to do is be at a racetrack, and, but my dad was always gone on the weekends racing in the All-Pro Series and stuff like that, and when I was eight years old, he finally gave me a chance. You know, I, I was done doing the ballet and the softball, and that just didn't work for me. In softball, I did was pick the grass, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> nothing fit my style besides going fast. And that's when he gave me the shot at eight years old. And I raced go-karts for four years. I moved up to a legend car for about like a half of a year, but we didn't know too much about the legend cars because they're so different. And my dad was a big late model racer. So I started practicing and testing late models when I was 13 years old. I raced late models for about five years and raced in the truck series and here I am in the Nationwide Series this year. And was there a certain memory of your short track racing where this was the most fun I've ever had in my racing career and also now I know that this is what I'm going to do with my life? I guess when I was 14 years old, you know, when I was winning races and when I was winning championships, I thought to myself, Maybe I can do this for a living, or maybe I can make it make my dreams come true, and that's just when I really realized it. But I guess the biggest memory for me is winning the Snowball Derby down in Florida. You know, that's, that's the biggest race in the short track world, and for me to win it my third time was pretty cool, especially my dad, you know. He's been racing that race for 13 years and still hasn't won it. And for me to win it for him and my whole family was pretty, pretty amazing. And how is it driving for this team? You're racing for ML Motorsports, owned by Mary Louise Miller, so another female <laughs> in the sport. Um, so describe what it's like driving for that team. It's really, it's really neat. You know, I actually I got the call to drive for them after the Derby, and I flew to New York to meet with them the day after the Snowball Derby. So it was just really cool for a team like that to want want me in their car. You know, and for me to be 19, 20 years old and get 21 races in the Nationwide Series this year is, is a pretty big deal for me. And it's just an honor, you know, I never thought I would be in the Nationwide Series. Obviously your goal is going to be to win races at every level that you're competing at. So what are the steps you're going to take to get there now? Well, it's just getting experience. You know, this is my first year in the Nationwide Series. I don't, I don't have hardly any experience on the tracks that I'm going to. And it's just learning and getting to know the team and working hard with them and trying to work with the crew chief as best as I can to help them out what I need with the car. And it's, it's a work in progress for sure, you know, but I feel like me and the team have worked extremely hard this year and we're getting better every race we go to and it's showing. And you're definitely getting more attention now too and with that comes some of the comparisons to Danica and <laughs> other girls are racing and I know that question gets old. <laughs> but you've really made yourself stand out in a different way being more of a, a true racer. Is that something that you've purposely done with a marketing plan to be different? It's not something I think about. You know, I just really, I'm to myself and all I care about is getting in that car. And then at the end of the day, that's really the big thing that matters is going in there, working with your team and not caring, not caring what's around you. You just really got to focus on yourself and not get caught up in anything else. We've raced the truck series for the family owned team for two years and that's pretty big for a family to take you all that far. And you know, this year, this is my first year driving for someone besides my family. So it's kind of like dreams are coming true.